Hi y'all, and welcome to Texas Real Food. My name is Stephanie, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about food literacy. Throughout this video, I will cover exactly what food literacy is, as well as why it's important, and what you can do to promote food literacy in America today. The goal of this video is to provide you with the tools to understand food better, and enable you to share the information you have with your kids and members of your community. Let us start by clearly defining exactly what food literacy means. Food literacy can be stated simply as understanding the impact of your food, choices on your health, the environment, and your community. Another definition includes understanding the story of food. A clear understanding of food is pivotal to making healthy choices. Food literacy is something that often goes untaught, and many people are unaware that it is even something they should learn. As with most subjects, food literacy is best learned at a young age. Food literacy is not placed as a priority within our school system, even though proper food literacy can lead to lifelong healthy eating choices. Missing a fundamental understanding of food can lead or contribute to a number of major issues, including risks such as diabetes, Crohn's disease, obesity, and more. The ramifications of poor or no food literacy can extend beyond the individual and contribute to the worldwide issue of global warming. There are different facets to food literacy. But thankfully, most aspects can be practiced right inside your own home. Knowing how to choose healthy foods is the foundation of food literacy. Farmers market shopping is a great way to ensure you are getting healthy and fresh ingredients. Outside of farmers markets and directly purchasing from farms and ranches, there are still ways to improve your choosing habits. Healthy eating means avoiding overly refined and processed foods, products made using GMOs or meat from factory farms, junk foods made of monocultured crops, and other industrial goods of this nature. Knowing how to properly cook is a fundamental aspect of food literacy. American homes are usually outfitted with massive kitchens, but those who live in those homes often don't know how to make use of these kitchens. Most Americans have the resources necessary to cook fresh and healthy meals right at their fingertips, but lack the necessary knowledge. The family meal is an important thing. For more information on the benefits of a healthy home-cooked dinner, be sure to check out the other videos here at Texas Real Food. Most healthy meals will not be found processed in grocery stores. This means that proper cooking skills and knowledge are vital to eating healthy. Taking the time to learn how to cook will pay dividends and can be an enjoyable experience. Providing home-cooked meals doesn't have to just be about eating healthy. It can also be thought of as a pastime, a hobby to be savored just as much as the food. Getting your kids involved can be fun for you and them and have the added benefit of providing them with the food literacy skills in a natural and engaging way. So what can you do about food literacy in America? Educating yourself is the first step toward promoting food literacy. Start by promoting food literacy within your own home. Get your kids involved in the cooking and make sure they understand where their food is coming from and why certain foods are better for them than others. Foodliteracycenter.org offers the Future Cooking School. They state that food literacy is as important for kids to learn as reading and math. The Food Literacy Center was founded in 2011 and is progressing towards their goals of spreading proper food education. The goal by 2020 is to offer free food literacy classes and become integrated in numerous after-school programs. Food literacy is important both short-term and long-term. The benefits of proper food education extend beyond the individual to the community and even the planet when considering the environmental impact that poor food literacy can have. Make sure you have the necessary knowledge yourself. Then spread it to your family and practice it throughout your community. Thank you for watching this video at Texas Real Food. If you learned something or found something useful, then do us a favor and like this video. We would love to hear your opinions. So head on down to the comment section and join the conversation. Be sure to subscribe and check out the other videos here at Texas Real Food.